Hi guys, today I'm gonna to share with you sort of an orange pink soft look. So um, if you wanna see how I got this, then please keep watching. I swear my eyes just somehow know when I'm going to be using an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because you know how it, sometimes those palettes have a little bit of fallout? that get into my eye and under my contact. It's like, all I did was like pick it out and then all of a sudden my eye just was like, nope, you gotta take the contact out, it's not happening. So, here we are. I'm going to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream um, because nothing hydrates my skin better in the winter than this little product here. Even though it is winter, I'm still gonna put on some sunscreen. This is the La Mer Reparative Face Sun Lotion, SPF 30. I think this product's really great because I got this back in October, I think. And um, I mean, it's February now and it's I still like have product to use and I use this every single day. So, and I do like two pumps too, not, not just one. So, if you're looking for a sunscreen that lasts, definitely try this. Remember, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer because I'm all about that hydration now. But if you think about it, it's really not that much longer that it's gonna be like dry skin and cold weather because usually by like mid-March, everything's kinda back to almost like summer skin, you know? Or maybe that's just living in California. <laughs> You can see if you still have snow on the ground, you're like, ah, oh, my skin's not very happy still. <laughs> foundation, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow. I haven't used this in a while, but I was watching um, a Jacqueline Hill video yesterday, and I believe this was the foundation she used, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that, so I'm gonna try it. And to blend this in, I'm not going to use a beauty blender today. I'm just going to use, um, let's call it a booty blender. <laughs> I'm just going to use like a flat top brush. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. I was actually going to do my brows before concealer, but I forgot. So here we are. And now I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids to kind of be a base for the eyeshadow. Before I do my brows, I'm just gonna set my face with powder first. I'm using the Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder. <laughs> I've been using some other powders lately, like um, the, Becca, the Becca one, the one that's like, has that cool feeling to it, like the cold feeling. There's no powder coming out, but I can see it. And then I've also been using um, the RMS one but I just felt like using old favorite or whatever's left of it. So for brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, mainly because I ran out of my um, brow whiz and instead of going out and like just getting more of that, I really wanna use up more of the products that I already have. So that's why I'm using some kind of all the favorites for foundation and con and um, concealer and powder. They're still really good products and I do recommend them. Um, they're just not like brand new on the market. So, and I'm using the Anastasia uh, brush for brows. <laughs> if you ever get into those kind of moods where you don't want to do anything unless you can do it like perfectly, that's kind of where I've been lately in terms of like making videos. Um, Cause it's like, I'm not really happy with how makeup looks when my skin's really dry. And then also just not, you know, very happy with like my brow shape. And I guess I'm just being way too picky. But then I've, you know, at a certain point it's like, it's never gonna be perfect, it probably won't be. So just start now with whatever you have, however it is, just start and just keep going. And so if this video isn't, I don't know, the best quality or the best makeup look, then I'm sorry, but this is the best that I could do at this point in time. So 
bear with me, I guess. I'm gonna use the Soft Glam by Anastasia palettes. And these are the colors in the palette. I'm going to start with um, the Pale Gold. Okay, so I just washed that all over the lid. And then now I'm gonna go into this um, orange, show, uh, orange soda, like matte shade. And I'm just gonna put that in my crease. And then a little bit above the crease. Sorry if uh, my face is cut off. So I'm just gonna put that in the crease and a little bit above the crease. And then I'm gonna go into this soft rose pink shade and focus that on the lid. Okay, so I did two layers of that. Now I'm gonna go in with another brush and um, gonna go into this burnt orange shade, which is a little bit darker, like tan shade, and put that in my crease. A little bit above the crease and then a little on the outer V of the eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into this rustic medium brown shade and do, <laughs> and focus that on the outer third and a little bit in the crease. Now I'm going to wipe away any fallout that fell. Okay, so I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm dipping into that orange orange soda shade that I used earlier. And then I'm gonna dip into a little bit of that pale gold. I'm not gonna put any of the pink there because I don't wanna have that like overly pink, pink eyed look. I'm just leaving that on the lid for now. Um, and then I want to go into a little bit of the burnt orange that we used in the crease and use that on the outer portion. And then lastly into that medium brown shade. Okay, and then I'm taking a flat pencil brush and I'm going into this white matte shade and I'm putting it under the brow bone and then also on the inner corners. I'm going to do some eyeliner. Okay, so I'm taking this um, Jet Waterproof Cream Eyeliner from Anastasia and I'm using a flat brush. I usually start in the center and work my way out and then I go in. The inner corner is particularly difficult, especially because this brush is a little wide, it's a little long, um, but that's okay. And then I wanna do a little bit of a flick, so I'm gonna try and do that. Give it a minute to just like dry a bit and move on to the face. So for um, contour, I'm using the Kevin Lacan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. So I'm just using a little round flat top brush and I'm starting with the tip of my nose and then rounding it out here. And then you wanna do the high points of the cheeks. For blush, I'm using the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Hyacinth. And I'm just using like um, a little fluffy brush that's angled a bit. Putting a little on my chin too. Using a little tiny fluffy brush that's angled a bit. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Palette. And I'm using the lighter shade of the two. Just putting it on the high points of the cheeks and putting it up around by the top of the brow. And then a little down my nose too, and upper lip. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes with the Surat Lash Curler. For mascara on the top lashes, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Full Fat Lashes in the shade Glossy Black. And for the lower lashes, I'm using the um, Clinique bottom lashes. Okay, so I just sprayed my face with some of this Evian facial spray to kind of bring some more hydration, glowiness to the skin after all the powder. Okay, for lips, I'm first going to put on some Blistix, Blistitex Ultra Rich Hydration Lip Balm. Can you sense the theme here of just overall hydration? <laughs> And then I'm going to be using some lip liner. This is the Kylie Jenner Coco K lip liner. Oh, you can even put the cap on the back like a pen. So I filled in the outer corners of the top and bottom lip. 
And now what I'm gonna do is take a lipstick. This is Stila in the shade Emma. And I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna see if I can dot it a little in the center. And that completes this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.